ಓಂ ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯಂ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೀತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸಹ ನೋತು ಸಹ ನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ ಕರವಾಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವತೀತಮಸ್ತುಮಾವಿಷಾವೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತ 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 ಓಂ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದಂಡಮವ್ಯಕ್ತಸಂಭೋಂ ಅಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ತಿ ಮೇ ಲೋಕಾ ಸಪ್ತೀಪ ಮೇ ದಿ so towards the end of the bhashya on 2.10 which sums up the all the earlier shlokas thus far including those of the first chapter <coughs> bhashyakara so far has uh, expressed that first this shoka moha is shown as which is a samsar karana is shown in the first and the second chapter which is the cause for delusion <coughs> and uh the uh, that has led to uh led to arjuna's wrong conclusions and this is true for everyone then bhagwan is teaching him to take him away from the shoka and he saw that there is no way he is going to come out of this unless atma jnana is taught to him therefore the uh, next the rest of the gita or actually the teaching begins here and bhagwan bhashyakara said that uh, there are two divisions here in gita one is karma yoga and the other is jnana and then he has said that uh, each of these shlokas moving forward have to be analyzed in the context knowing that uh, knowing whom it is addressed to here uh, he also analyzed the purva paksha who is saying saha samuchya combination of jnana and karma leads to moksha whereas bhagwan bhashyakara refuted that <coughs> i'm sorry so he refuted refuted that by showing how the understanding of the purva pakshi is wrong who himself quoted some shlokas and then bhagwan bhashyakara explained this uh, is there a question is there a question ma no there is no question okay i'll keep on the question that i asked you so there's a uh, he said that it is uh, through this analysis that it has to be understood as there is a vibhaga there is a uh, vibhaga and so there is a division in gita itself as to dve nishthe maya pura prokte so he said there are two nishthas and there we saw the logically why it is so otherwise arjuna's question will not make sense bhagwan's answer will not make sense and so on thereby shrauta or and or smarta karma cannot be combined with jnana for moksha whether it can be really combined it cannot be combined for moksha it cannot be combined and otherwise also there cannot be real combination of jnana and karma uh, that we will see next so uh this morning i think we were yeah here in the last part huh? we concluded somewhere around here where bhagwan bhashyara tasmat after analyzing he has concluded that tasmat gita shastra ishan matrena api shrotena smartena karmana atma jnana se samuchena kena chit darshayitum shakya it is not possible to show it, it is not possible to be shown by anyone in gita shastra that there can be a combination by with a even a little bit of karma jnana cannot be combined with a little bit of karma that is the uh, as it cannot be shown yasya tu ajnana traga dosha tah va karmanai pravruttasya agni yajnena dane tapasa vishuddha sattvasya jnanam utpannam parmartha tattva vishayam ekam evaidam sarvam brahma kartu chaiti tasya karmani karma prayojana cha nivrutte api loka sangrahartam yatna purvam yatha pravrutti tathaiva 
प्रवृत्त से प्रवृत्ति रूपम दृश्य न तत्कर्म न तत्कर्म ये न बुद्धे समुच्चय सियात सो यू आर हियर वेर सॉरी ही सेइंग दैट यस्य तु अज्ञानात रोग रागादि दोषता ड्यू टू रागादि दोष राग द्वेष इत्यादि दोष ड्यू टू दोस डिफेक्ट्स वन हु इज इंडल्ज इन कर्म कर्मणि प्रवृत्त से फॉर दैट पर पर्सन यज्ञे न दाने न तपसावा विशुद्ध सत्वस्य he is engaged due to in karma due to raga dosha but due to the uh, giving up the results of the action as in not having attachment yajna ne dana ne tapasa va through yajna dana other karmas also they will bring uh, chitta shuddhi and therefore becoming vishuddha sattva sattva is antakarana here one who has this vishuddha antakarana he is vishuddha sattva and the same raga di dosha tah कर्मणि प्रवृत्त दैट पर्सन बिकम्स विशुद्ध सत्व नाउ एंड देन विशुद्ध सत्व से ज्ञान उत्पन्न देन व्हेन दी ज्ञान इज बॉर्न थ्रू ज्ञान योग व्हाट काइंड ऑफ ज्ञान परमार्थ तत्व विषय दैट ज्ञान नॉलेज विच इज डीलिंग विथ दी हाईएस्ट तत्व व्हाट इज दैट हाईएस्ट तत्व एकमेव इदम सर्व ऑल दिस इज वन ब्रह्म इट इज ब्रह्म अकर तुरुष इट इज दैट लिमिटलेस एंटिटी अनसेगमेंटेड सिंगल एंटिटी विच इज दी ओनली थिंग विच इज देर विच इज नॉट अकर्ता एंड दैट आई एम इति तस्य कर्मणि कर्म प्रयोजन च निवृत्ति अपि ऑल दो दैट पर्सन इज एंगेज इन दीज ड्यूटीज कर्म इज व्हाट एवर इज प्रिस्क्राइब फॉर हिज आश्र वर्णाश्रम इवन इफ ही इज एंगेज इन दैट लोक संग्रहार्थम व्हाट फॉर फॉर व्हाट पर्पस ही इज एंगेज बिकॉज पीपल शुड नॉट गेट दे शुड नॉट गेट लॉस्ट जस्ट बिकॉज दिस पर्सन हैज ज्ञान एंड गिव्स अप अदर्स मे हु आर फॉलोइंग हिम मे आल्सो गिव अप इवन विदाउट नॉलेज व्हिच विल बी डिजास्टरस नॉट ओनली फॉर देम बट फॉर द सोसाइटी आल्सो देयरफॉर सम मे हु आर इन रिस्पांसिबल पोजीशंस एंड पीपल डिपेंड ऑन देम दे मे कंटिन्यू not as karta they do not have any karmani karma prayojane cha nivrutte api although they don't have any desire any desire to engage in karma and they don't have any desire uh, they don't want anything out of the karma karma prayojane there is nothing to be uh, brought about by that activity even then yatna purvam yatha pravrutti just as they were putting in efforts they may appear to be putting in efforts tatha eva pravrutasya yat pravrutti rupam drishyate which is seen by others that activity is seen by others whereas there is no kartrutva bhava at all therefore that person that uh, someone is seeing or others are seeing there is no real person there because there is no identification at all but it is continuing by the flow of prarabdha like the arrow shot which cannot be taken back such is prarabdha the body continues till there is prarabdha but there is no association of brahmatma to that body mind sense complex and therefore although there is uh, there is an appearance of karma which itself is continuing for loka sangraha because that is the prarabdha of the sharira body mind sense complex but there is no attachment there there is no identification tadatmya sambandha with the sharira therefore drishyate by others yat pravrutti roopam drishyate there is you see that yatna purva pravrutti you see that that person is taking so much of effort he is also sweating the way he was sweating earlier and others onlookers do not know any better therefore yatna pravrutti roopam drishyate tatha eva pravrutta yat pravrutti roopam drishyate na tat karma that is that cannot be called as karma so last time i closed the session by saying it is karma bhasa it is an it is a semblance of karma it is an appearance of karma it is not really karma because what is karma karma is that which gives rise to a result and that result uh, bhoga of that result has to be done by the same one who was the karta of the karma so karma phala will accrue to the karma karta the karma karta becomes the karma phala bhogta now karma karta himself is not there because akartru akartru brahma in neuter 
बट इन ब्रह्मा आत्मा ब्रह्मा आत्मा विल बी अकर्ता सो अकर्ता अहम इति मन्यते ही नोज दैट आई एम नॉट अ डूअर नॉट एन एजेंट ऑफ एक्शन व्हेन आई एम नॉट एन एजेंट ऑफ एक्शन देन हाउ कैन देयर बी एनी कर्म फला व्हिच विल अक्रू टू मी देयरफॉर न तत् कर्म बिकॉज देयर इज नो कर्म फला व्हिच विल कम एंड टैग दिस पर्सन ये न बुद्धे हे समुच्चय स्यात ये न ज्ञानस्य समुच्चय स्यात ज्ञान ज्ञान शुड हैव टू हैव एन एसोसिएशन ऑफ ज्ञान दिस पर्सन इज अ ज्ञानी नाउ इज दैट ज्ञान टू हैव एन एसोसिएशन विद कर्म कर्म शुड एग्जिस्ट इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस कर्म इटसेल्फ इज नॉट देयर इट इज कर्माभासः इट देयर इज नो कर्म फला व्हिच इज गोइंग टू कम बिकॉज़ देयर इज नो कर्म एंड देयरफॉर देयर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ दिस ज्ञान और बुद्धि टू हैव association with because there is no existent karma there is no real karma to which there can be real as in there, there is no vyavaharika karma also uh, for the uh, for, for the for brahmaatma for the onlooker it may be there but it is meaningless because the onlooker has nothing to do with the kartrutra bhoktrutva of the sharira that he is looking at if the if at all there is kartrutva or bhoktrutva it is for an ajnani who is working but there is no ajnani who is working there is no jnana there is no uh, karta there at all therefore buddhi samuchchaya or jnana samuchchaya is not possible with karma because karma itself is not there it, therefore it is this showing the impossibility syat would be possible had there been karma but since there is no karma there is no possibility itself now there is an example given of bhagwan himself now bhagwan you cannot say that he has no jnana not only he has jnana he is teaching jnana in fact he is the 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 ishwara is the the first teacher in the sampradaya whether you take it as sadashiva samarambha or from narayana he is the the first teacher and that is what is said earlier also dvenishthe maya prokta uh, pura prokte dvenishthe prokte there are two nishtas which have been taught by me earlier at the beginning of the srishti itself so he is the first teacher therefore he gives bhagwan bhashyakara gives his example yatha bhagavato vasudevasya bhagavatah vasudevasya kshatra dharma cheshtitam cheshtitam is karma karma as in he is not using karma here interestingly he is using the word cheshtitam as in what is seen by others as there is an engagement in kshatra dharma that engagement in kshatra dharma for an ajnani is karma but it is a karma abhasa when there is a jnani there and bhagwan vasudeva is definitely a jnani yatha bhagavato vasudevasya kshatra dharma cheshtitam he is going to say what uh, it is not karma so that is not karma kshatra dharma cheshtitam na jnani na samuchiyate so it is not karma it is the chesta which is seen by others that chesta is not karma and it cannot have any combination with jnana therefore jnanena na samuchyate it cannot be combined with jnana purushartha siddhe and for what purpose does the purva pakshi want that jnana uh, jnana karma jnana samuchya or jnana karma samuchya he wants it for purushartha siddhi bhagwan has already got purushartha siddhi because he is the the atma purusha himself that uh, purnat purusha he is the purna purusha therefore purushartha siddhi for purushartha siddhi there is the way there is no engagement in karma for one who is already that purana purusha who is brahmaatma and he knows he is brahmaatma everyone is brahmaatma they don't know similarly so yatha yatha bhagavatah how is the situation for bhagwan similarly for vidusha for a vidwan tadvat tadvat is yatha yatha bhagavatah tadvat यथा भगवत किम यथा भगवत क्षत्र धर्म चेष्टित न ज्ञान समुच्चीय पुषार्थ सिद्ध तद्वत तद्वत तथा सिमिलरली तत्फलासंकारा भाव से दिस इज अ पर्सन तत्फलासंधि अहंकारा भाव इज अ पर्सन हु इज वॉट विद्वान विदुषा इज अष्टी एक वचन विद्वत विद्वान 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 शब्द इन फर्स्ट केस वी गेट विद्वान सो फॉर अ विद्वान 
what kind of a vidwan who is tat phalabi sandhi tat is what this kshatra dharma cheshtitam or whichever karma phalabi sandhi phalabi sandhi is association with phala abhi sandhi is that what is that abhi sandhi if a person has done karma then there is an abhi sandhi with phala uh, wantingly or unwantingly there will still be an abhi sandhi and one who does not have an abhi sandhi does not have anything to do with karma he does not have anything to do with phala therefore phala bi sandhi ahankara bhava so he does not have ahankara meaning he does not have kartrutva therefore there is no bhoktrutva with the phala uh, unto phala towards phala there is no bhoktrutva bhava because un, uh, towards karma there is no kartrutva bhava so if kartrutva bhava is not there towards karma then there cannot be bhoktrutva bhava towards uh, karma phala therefore tat phala is karma phala karma 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 phala bhi sandhi अहंकार अभी इन दैट दैट एसोसिएशन देर इज नो अहंकार एट ऑल देर इज नो एसोसिएशन एट ऑल देर फोर देर इज नो टैगिंग ऑफ दैट कर्म फला टू दी कर्ता हु हिमसेल्फ इज नॉट देर कर्ता इज नो लॉन्गर देर देर फोर दैट पर्सन हु हैज एबसेंस ऑफ अहंकारा विथ दी फला भी संधि फला भी संधि वो तत् कर्म कर्म फला भी संधि and that being common tulyatvat uh, so tulya vidushah tat phala bi sandyahankara bhavasya tulyatvat or this need not be a bhauri also there can be due to absence of uh, uh, so tulyatvat due to similarity similarity of absence of so okay uh, this abhav we need, need not take um, एज बहुरी एज अ पर्सन विदुषा विद्वान इज अ पर्सन एंड फॉर अ विद्वान ड्यू टू तुल्यत्वाद ड्यू टू सिमिलरिटी सो तद्वत तद्वत इज भगवान वत भगवान वासुदेव वत कर्म फला भी संधि अहंकार अभाव से विदुषा तुल्यत्वाद विदुषा देर इज there is abhava due to abhava tulyatva of abhava due to tulyatva of abhava for a vidwan abhava of what abhava of ahankara and abhisandhi you can say ahankara and abhisandhi or uh, yeah ahankara and abhisandhi will bring in karma and karma phala both so tat phala bi sandhi and ahankara there is no kartrutva ahankara ego itself is not there individuality is no longer there तत्ववित नाहम करोमी थी मन्यते सो तत्ववित इज विद्वान तत्वम वेत्ती थी तत्ववित ही नोज दी तत्व ही नोज व्हाट इज द रियलिटी देयरफॉर तत्ववित अहम तत्ववित अहम न करोमी दिस न सिटिंग हियर अहम न करोमी इति मन्यते ही थिंक ही ही नोज मन्यते इज ही कंसीडर्स दैट आई एम नॉट अ कर्ता एट ऑल अर्लियर व्हेन दे ही हैड नो विद्या that time he considered himself as a karta therefore aham karomi aham karomi there was ahankara this ahankara abhava is explained here na aham karomi iti manyate so aham na karomi iti manyate na cha tat phala bhi phalam abhisandhate therefore this ahankara so therefore dwandva works better here dwandva between what this phala bhi sandhi and ahankara so that's why bhagwan bhashyakara explains that tatva vit na aham karomi iti manyate this is an ex, uh, explanation of ahankara abhava एंड तत् फला न तत् फलम न च तत् फलम अभिसंधते मींस दिस कर्म फल तत् फल तत् फला संधि तत् फला संधि अभाव सो द द्वंद्वा इज तत् फला संधि अभाव एंड अहंकार अभाव दैट इज तुल्य बिटवीन भगवान एंड बिटवीन बिटवीन भगवान एंड विद्वान बिकॉज भगवान नोज सिमिलरली विद्वान नोज एंड एक्चुअली देर इज नो भगवान सेपरेट फ्रॉम विद्वान वंस विद्वान नोज देन ही इज सेम एज भगवान बिकॉज ही नोज दैट तत्व ही अंडरस्टैंड एज अहम ब्रह्मास्मी एंड देर फोर ही इज भगवान हिमसेल्फ तत्व न अहम करो मी मनते न तत् फला विसंदते ही डज नॉट कनेक्ट विथ दी फला कर्म फला यथा च स्वर्गादि कामार्थिन गिवस the further he explains that yathach and also another way he is explaining that uh, with another example that swargadi kamarthi take a person who is kamarthi he, he is swargadi kamarthi he wants to go to swarga there is desire to experience swarga 
एंड आदि आदि पते ना देर कैन बी पितर लोका देर कैन बी ब्रह्मा लोका वही कुंठा इत्यादि सो स्वर्गादि कामार्थी ना फॉर दैट पर्सन हुई था कामार्थी टू हैव स्वर्ग एट्सेट्रा टू हैव अनुभव इन स्वर्ग एट्सेट्रा सो देर फॉर व्हाट डज ही डू ही डज अग्निहोत्रा एट्सेट्रा सो आई जस्ट रीड द सेंटेंस एंड देन कम बैक यथा जो स्वर्गादि कामार्थी ना अग्निहोत्रा दि कर्म फल लक्षण धर्मानुष्ठाना या आयत अग्नि है काम्ये एव अग्निहात अग्निहोत्रा दो प्रवृत्तस्य सामी कृते विनष्टे अपि कामे तदेव अग्निहोत्रा अनुतिष्ठतः तथाच दर्शयति भगवान इत्यादि सो यथाच स्वर्गादि कामार्थी ना फॉर एंड जस्ट लाइक अ स्वर्गादि कामार्थी अ पर्सन हु इज डूइंग काम्य कर्म ही डू ही इज डूइंग अग्निहोत्रा एट्सेट्रा ऑल दी अदर सैटेलाइट कर्मस टू गेट दी मेन फला दी फला व्हिच विल कम आफ्टर दी फॉल ऑफ दी बॉडी दैट पर्सन विल कनेक्ट विद अनदर शरीरा to have bhoga in swarga or other loka what does he do he does agni hotra di karma lakshana dharma anushthanaya ahita agni he kamya eva agni hotra do pravruttasya so he does agni hotra di karma agni hotra di and adi pade na there are other karmas which have to be done with agni hotra so ahita uh, ahita agni is a person this uh, swarga di kamarthi is ahita agni for इफ ही इज स्वर्गा स्वर्गादि कामार्थी इफ ही वॉन्ट्स अर्थी एज स्वर्गादि कामार्थी दीर्घ ही वॉन्ट स्वर्ग देन ही हेज टू डू काम डू अग्निहोत्र एंड फॉर डू अग्निहोत्र एंड अदर रिचुअल्स दीज आर ऑल दीज रिचुअल्स आर रिलेटेड टू अग्नि यज्ञ इट इज यज्ञ देर फोर आहित अग्नि ही इज आहित अग्नि मीन्स वॉट आहित आहित इज दट फायर Yajna fire is kindling of the yajna fire is called ahita. Ahita agni agni hi yen. Ahita the fire uh, agni hi ahita yen or ahita ha agni hi yen. Fire is kindled by this person. So ahita agni hi uh, then so, see ahita tan ta nista puro uh, nista uh, puro bahuri ho in bahuri uh, the nista anta pada goes in. पूर्व पद सो अग्नि आहिता आहिता मीन्स द फायर इज किंडल्ड बाय व्हिच फायर इट इज दैट आहिता इज किंडल्ड इन देन सेंस नॉट एनी लाइटिंग ऑफ एनी फायर दैट रिचुअलिस्टिक फायर बाय हुम दैट पर्सन इज आहिता अग्नि एंड हु इज ही ही स्वर्गादि ही स्वर्गादि कामार्थी देयरफॉर ही इज एन आहिता अग्नि एंड बाय दिस पर्सन व्हेन इट इज किंडल्ड यथा च स्वर्गार स्वर्गादि कामार्थी ना आहिता अग्नि हे अग्निहोत्रादि कर्म लक्षण धर्मानुष्ठानाय एंड व्हाई ही इज अ आहित अग्नि बिकॉज ही वांट्स टू प्रैक्टिस फॉर दी प्रैक्टिस ऑफ धर्म व्हाट कैंड ऑफ धर्म धर्म विच इज अग्निहोत्रादि कर्म लक्षण दैट धर्म विच इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय अग्निहोत्रा एट्सेट्रा सो देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ कर्म विच आर देयर इट इज नॉट अ सिंगल कर्म विच विच विल लीड अ पर्सन टू स्वर्ग यू हैव सीन अर्लियर that there are these three lokas and what kind of karma leads to what loka but it is a group of karmas so then kamye eva agnihotra so he, he is doing kamya karma now this agnihotra itself is a kamya karma for a person who is a kami or a kamarthi if but agnihotra is a prescribed duty for a householder and in a general case everyone's everyone wants happiness As a general case, as a general thumb rule, everyone engages in an activity, any activity, because in the end it is going to bring some kind of happiness. At least that's the thinking. With that thinking alone, even if someone takes trouble, that trouble is worth it. We say that it is worth it because there is more uh, sukha which will come later in the long run. Thinking in the long run, therefore he is pravrutta in agni hotra. Now for a householder, it is a duty. even if you, you you may say that i don't want swarga swarga need not be a loka as in just a uh, separate world swarga uh, by purva mimamsa purva mimamsa ka says that swarga is sukha and everyone wants sukha and swarga is that place or that uh, experiential field 
where you will get lot of sukha and thereby everyone wants swarga that is the thinking of a purva vivamsaka therefore all the shruti karma will lead to uh, swarga only swarga in the end it will lead to swarga therefore shruti when it says uh, agnihotra has to be done by a grihastha it is saying that for swarga you do it now what what about a person who does not want that swarga as a loka or he is happy the way it is uh, things are but being a grihastha he has to do agnihotra which is nitya naimittika karma let's not talk about only agnihotra take nitya naimittika karma now if it is agnihotra then it was uh, definitely agnihotra is said to lead to uh, swarga now this person does not is no longer a kamarthi then what will happen to this person who is doing agnihotra so that is the example here yathacha swargaadi kamarthinah agnihotraadi karma lakshana dharma anushthanaya ahitagne he kamye kamye ev agnihotraado pravrutasya he is engage in agnihotraadi karma pravrtaha and what kind of agnihotraadi karma kamya agnihotraadi karma where he has desire for swarga that desire may drop off but when he is doing agnihotra with kar, with that kama then that same agni, agnihotraadi ritual is called as kamya in one case uh, rather that agnihotraadi uh, ritual is called as kamya agnihotradi but when that desire is no longer there and he is he is doing it because it is a prescribed duty without expecting any result then it becomes karma yoga that same kamya karma becomes karma yoga so kamye eva agnihotrado pravrutasya swargaadi kamarthinah ahitagni he what happens that person while doing the ritual let's say it is half done so sami krute means sami is half krute vinashte api kame this person his kama is vinashta no longer does he desire for whatever reasons let's say uh, chitta shuddhi is there and he says that all this is you know for what purpose am i uh, you know engaged in this ritual with this desire i don't want swarga any more it may be due to that reason it may be due to some teaching which has worked earlier or it may be due to being tired with all the karma for whatever reasons if uh, or uh, he is taught in this life itself and it strikes at that point of time whatever may be the reason but let's say kama is vinashta so vinashte api kami so what should he do when he is halfway through the ritual if the person is halfway through the ritual any orthodox person can person cannot just you know just put water and say that okay done uh, achamna he does and just gets up walks out that cannot be done so what is he going to do so agni kamye eva agni hotra do pravrutasya sami krute sami krute agni hotra do when that person has vinashte uh, api uh, kame when there is no kama left when the kama is gone towards swargaadi then sami krute api so when there is the ritual is done halfway agnihotradi anushthitah api although he remains engaged anushthitah he remains engaged in agnihotradi which is half done na tat kamyam it is no longer a kamya karma it cannot be called as kamya karma because the kama is the reason for that kartrutvam and thereby phalabi sandhi or bhoktrutvam that phalavi sandhi will no longer be there because there is no kama and thereby that agni hotra that he is doing is no longer a kamya karma it is just a nitya naimittika karma it is a nitya karma adi pade na naimittika karma also any other karma that he may do so tat kam na tat kamya tat agni hotra adi karma kamyam na bhavati it is no longer kam so tat kam na tat kamyam agni hotra adi agni hotra adi tat agni hotra adi which tat is what the same one which was he doing earlier same kamya karma that is, he is doing earlier is no longer kamya na na tat kamyam agni hotra adi bhavati yatha tatha cha darshayati and bhagwan will show this he shows this darshayati he shows this bhagwan tatha cha darshayati kurvan api na lipyate lipyate means uh, is tainted see lepa you know the word lepa lipyate 
lip dhatu if you, uh, you uh, upada you make a guna you will get what lepa and you add an akara some pratyagar so lepa lepa is what you uh, in ayurveda you have a lot of lepa you put on something on top so na lipyate is not uh, there is no covering with something else as in there is no taint of course lepa in uh, ayurveda need not be a taint but if you leave something it will stain right so it's a taint thereby it's taint so na lipyate means is not tainted kurvannapi kurvannapi is kurvani uh, shatranta so person who is doing even while doing api even while doing that karma he is not tainted means he is not there is no avishandhi he is not tainted by phala because it is no longer karma it is no longer kamya and thereby it, actually it becomes uh, karma yoga it becomes karma yoga but if jnanodhav nya, happens then it is not even karma yoga it becomes jnana and there is no karma therefore jnana cannot have an association with a non existing karma which has been explained earlier so kurvan api na lipyate in fifth chapter bhagwan is going to say na karoti na lipyate even in 13th chapter he repeats that na karoti na lipyate in a different context he is going to bring back the same teaching the entire gita is filled with the dvainishte and thereby he is going to show this na karoti na lipyate the, that person who has jnana he does not do anything and therefore there there is no kartrutvam and since there is no kartrutvam na lipyate he is not tainted by phalabhi sandhi or bhoktrutvam iti tatra 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 means uh, wherever that occasion arises bhagwan is going to show this in the shloka itself so when you say na karoti na lipyate then what samuchaya are you talking about you are contradicting therefore uh, i was listening to someone very nicely he has said you know only bhagwan bhashya kara only in advaita sampradaya others who have come after him they have taken his bhashya support and refuted some things where they have foregone conclusions and thereby they they are actually contradicting the gita original as in uh, not the bhashya forget the bhashya they are trying to show faults in the interpretation of bhagwan bhashyakara of advaita sampradaya and they are contradicting the mula elsewhere bhagwan bhashyakara is the only one who in fact advaita sampradaya is the only one which says that vedas entire karma kanda and uh, uh, jnana kanda are focused towards the singular goal of moksha which is through jnana and uh, even if they are not directly related to moksha through chitta shuddhi they are related and therefore there is what is called as eka vakyata eka vakyata means that maha vakya is the goal of all shrutis including karma kanda finally through chitta shuddhi the shruti mata wants you to reach that maha vakya and thereby it is only eka vakyata all the shlokas in gita also are committed toward a single goal whether through different paths it's a, it's a, it's an altogether different matter but the goal is same there is eka vakya tha and bhagwan bhashya kara si he shows kurvan api na lipyate na karoti na lipyate by this he is showing this is all jnana and thereby fifth chapter 13th chapter 18th chapter whichever chapter whichever shloka you pick up they you will see no contradiction between bhashya because he has the entire 700 shlokas all the upanishads in his mind when he writes bhashya and therefore you will see whenever you see bhashya under any shloka or any sangati it is with that in mind it is not only on that shloka so that that shloka uh, will interpretation will never contradict with the entire vision of the shruti and gita therefore you see the people who say sah samuchaya or something else dvaita vishishta dvaita whatever you say they will contradict many many places with upanishads and gita yacha purvaihi purvataram krutam now he takes the uh, last topic which is what of janaka etc there are examples of janaka etc what about him which has already been covered here as in loka sangrahartha this word has been given but in the case of janaka and others who are seen in shruti also there are kings who have remained 
with knowledge and continued their activity as a kin, king. And in fact, in Janaka's court, he studied and even taught uh, some people. So what about such cases? So those have also to be understood in the proper context because we were not there. We were not there as in the way we said here, we were not there during Krishna Arjuna Samvada or any Upanishad Samvada. Krishna is telling Arjuna also as in Janaka, the shloka, in shloka itself Janaka's name is going to come. So even during their time, um, 5000 years back when the Samvada teaching was going on uh, and the talk was going on between uh, Arjuna and Krishna or Krishna was giving an Upadesha to Arjuna that time who knew what happened to Janaka therefore thinking that taking that perspective Bhagavan Bhashyakara says that even the case of Janaka has to be analyzed in the context of these two Nishthas in the context of two Nishthas and both ways it can be understood as to what why Janaka did what he did and that is the topic here now Yacha Purvai Purva Tarankritam in the uh, fourth chapter, Purvaihi Purvatara Krutam, what was done by earlier, Purvaihi as in the earlier, uh, is saying it can be your ancestors, he is telling Arjuna or it can be someone else, whoever uh, you know in Puranas or in Ityasa, whatever was done earlier, Purvataram, earlier it was done, something was done, what was that? Uh, so, if you look at this shloka itself. Bhagavan Bhashyakara picks only a part of it and uh, not the entire shloka. Everywhere he will just pick up what is applicable. So, Purvaihi Purvataram Krutam. See, Evam Nyatva Krutam Karma Purvai Rapi Mumukshubihi. Kuru Karma Yo Tasmatam Purvaihi Purvataram Krutam. What was done by earlier ones? What, what was the karma, earlier karma done by the earlier ones? Who Similarly, Kuru Karma Tasmatam Karma Kuru. Therefore, you also do the karma the way others, uh, people of your did it. And what, what does that see? Evam Nyatva, whatever he has taught, having understood that, Evam Nyatva, Purvai Rapi Mumukshubihi Karma Krutam. They also knew there are two Nishthas. So, whether they belong to this Karma Yoga or to Sankhya group, whichever group they belong to, based on the, that, they did karma. We will see how uh, as being a jnana also they did karma, that is karma bhasa. So, karma purvaihi kritam. So, he says similarly you also follow them and uh, tasmat tam karma kuru. So, here what did he see? Yacha purvai purva taram kritam karmanaiva hi samusiddhim asthita janakadaya. And elsewhere in third chapter earlier he had said what? Karmana eva hi samusiddhim asthita janakadaya Karmana evahi samusiddhi maasthita. They, through karma, through karma alone they attain samusiddhi. Samusiddhi is actually, it can be taken in both ways. They attain jnana or they attain, as jnana as in moksha they attain, or they attain uh, chitta shuddhi or that uh, eligibility in moksha, in jnana. Both ways it can be understood as they were adhikaris through this karma or they attain Siddhi as in moksha itself, we will see uh, there in there he uh, samusiddhi me actually Bhashyakara takes it as they uh, janakadaya they attained samusiddhi as samusiddhim, samusiddhim asiddha they attained this eligibility. He takes it that way because janaka was not a sarva karma sannyasi. Iti tattu pravibhajya vidyam, pravibhajya as in this with this uh, dvenishthe you have to analyze keeping this in mind. Uh, it has to be understood keeping these two divisions in mind. Tat katam, how is it so? So he says you analyze it keeping what I have told you now. You understand that. Uh, as in uh, the uh, Siddhanti is telling Purva Bhakshi. Yadi tavat, he is asking tat katam, how is it so? So Siddhanti replies, Yadi tavat, purve janakadaya tattva vidaha api pravrutta karmana hasyuh. Let's take one paksha that tavat. First of all, let's. Yadi, if Purve Janakadeya, the earlier people who are those Janakadeya, they were Tattva with earlier Purve, earlier uh, in earlier times also, in earlier time Janakadeya were what? Tattva Vidaha Api. Even 
while knowing the tattva, meaning they were jnanis, all, let's say they were jnanis, one case, if they were jnanis and still sihu, they were pravrutta karmanaha sihu, uh, so they pravrutta, um, uh, pravrutta karmana is also bahuri, uh, prathama bahuvachana, which is what tattva vidaha pravrutta karmana, those who were jnanis and still engaged in karma, so uh, they had engagement in karma, te loka sangrahartham guna guneshu vartante iti jnanena eva samsiddhi maastitaha, so there in the first explanation what does he say, te loka sangrahartham, so that others do not go, uh, I mean they don't lose direction of the goal, Guna Guneshu Vartante, their understanding is what? Janaka Daya, they think that Guna Guneshu Vartante, all these Maya Gunas, Trigunatmika Maya, Maya is uh, formed of Sattva Rajas and Tamas. When Sattva Rajas Tamas is in balance, in equilibrium, that time there is Pralaya and there is no Srishti. It is the unmanifest state, all over the world is completely unmanifest, the universe is unmanifest. There is no creation, it is Pralaya. When the time is ripe for uh, for creation, that time they go into imbalance based on the karma, samashti karma, the total karma of the people based on that, peop not only people, all jivas, whether it, uh, it's in uh, uh, Manishya Yoni or uh, Prani Yoni, Pakshi Yoni or Vriksha Yoni, whatever, uh, they go in imbalance. When they go in imbalance, there is creation and there is circumstance, there is an individualized world for uh, each and every jiva, thereby there is experience, but the person who knows this and he is liberated, he knows that guna guneshu vartante, meaning what the gunas are interacting with gunas. There is an interaction of gunas in gunas, there is no separate karta required because this is continuing with the sentience reflecting in them, but there is no attachment at all. It is. It, it, it is meant to be that way, so it is flowing that way, the world is continuing to interact with each other and there is karma going on, there is karma phala, all that may be there, only if you have association you will get bound. There is a, there is a good example I recall, uh, a person who is a bystander, let us say you are on a highway or you know on a freeway, uh, the way they say in US or elsewhere, so on a freeway there are these cars which are moving at a very high speed, even in India on highways you see uh, several, you know, over 100 kilometers per hour the cars are going. If you are an onlooker, a sakshi, there is nothing that is happening with you really, you just watch the cars going by, you are a sakshi. But if you hold on to the bumper of the car, if you hold on to the car, you will get dragged. You will, you will get dragged along with the karma, there is no escape. If you are tied to that or you hold on to it, Knowingly, unknowingly, you get entangled with the movement, then you will be drawn with the car. Similarly, guna guneshu vartante, but if you see yourself as a karta, you will be dragged in as a bhokta. So, te loka sangrahartam guna guneshu vartante iti jnane neva samsiddhi maastita. They are, they remain as jnanis and they get moksha, but they continue to be there for loka sangrahartam. So, for Loka Sangraha, sangraha. so uh, Loka Sangraya Ityartha, so it's a Chaturthi, Chaturthi meaning is there in Loka Sangrahartham in that Samasa. So that people who are following Janaka, there are followers of them, uh, of these people Janakadi and they should not lose their path because they are not eligible in Jnana, they may not be eligible in Karma Yoga also, but they should continue to do their karma, therefore uh, he, there was praradha for Janaka to continue as a king, that is one way to see it. Karma sannyase prapte, and what is the meaning? Karma sannyase is prapta then, as per the Shruti, Shruti says that if you have this, uh, if you have this uh, jnana, then you should take to sannyase. In fact, uh, Bhagavan Bhashyakara says that if you have a glimpse of that jnana, you should take to sannyasa. Karma sannyase prapte api, so even when that occasion arose, as in jnana is there and sannyasa, vidvat sannyasa has to be taken the way yajnavalkya took it, karmana sahayeva samsiddhi maastita. So here they remained, not for moksha because moksha is already attained. 
So what Purva Pakshi is saying that Jnana Karma Samuchya will lead to Moksha, that is not true. Because those people who continue to do karma even when Jnanotpati and Moksha has happened, they are not having Saha Samuchya because Nat Tat, nat tat Karma, that, that Karma Bhasa Eva. It is not Kamya, Agnihotra, similarly this, uh, it is Loka Sangrahartha, Yat Karma, Tadna Karma, that is not Karma. But karmana saha eva samsiddhi masita, they remained that way in, uh, although they were, they have attained moksha, they continue to do karma for loka sangraha, na karma sanyasam krutamanta ityartha, meaning what they didn't take to sanyasa, that is the idea, that's all it is. And Bhagavan, uh, Krishna will also say that uh, what is that sanyasa is not associating yourself with any karma or karma phala. He will say in the sixth chapter, Ityadi. Atha na te tattvavidha. Atha is on the other hand. Atha has many meanings. Here it is on the other hand. On the other hand, in, in, in the sense, pakshe, in another paksha, where considering that Janakadi were not, they were not jnanis. That is possible. We do not know. So, if in that, as in Janaka is treated as a, uh, as a jnani, but Considering that he was continuing as a king and there is a possibility that he became Jnani later. He became Jnani later, maybe he left, left his kingship and uh, walked away, possible. And then he followed Jnana and then he took uh, Vividisha Sanyasa to know and then he learnt and thereby he uh, got Jnana. Or let's say in another janma he got jnana, in that janma he did not get. This is another possibility. So, atha, on the other hand, atha nate tattovidha. If janakadis were not uh, tattovidha, they, they were not tattovit, they were not vidwan, they were not jnanis. Ishwara samarpitena karmana. So, this is karma yoga. Ishwara samarpitena karmana. Through that karma, as an offering unto the Lord, which is what sadhana bhuta, it is in the form of a sadhana means. Sadhana bhutena samsiddhim sattva shuddhim jnanotpatti lakshanam va samsiddhim astitaha janakadayaha iti vyakhyayam. Then it should be understood, it should be commented here now that if they were not tattva with, in, in case if it is, if they were not tattva with, then why did they do karma? So they did it samsiddhim astita. They also attained samsiddhi, but what kind of samsiddhi there? That samsiddhi is, uh, samsiddhi is sattva shuddhim. Samsiddhim is equal to sattva shuddhim, sattva is antakkarana, antakkarana shuddhi, how did they attain it? Sadhana bhutena, through that karma which is sadhana, in the, sadhana bhutena karmana, karma which is sadhana and there you are right, it is a sadhana but not along with jnana because that time they did not have jnana. So therefore it is saha samuchaya, it, it is not saha samuchaya, it is krama samuchaya, they may have attained jnana later and they continued to do sadhana. So if you say that they were jnanis, then they, what they did is was, was Loka Sangrahartam through, due to Prarabdha was there, they knew Gunaguneshu Vartante and they continued to, uh, not to do Samuchya, there is no Samuchya in the earlier explanation. In the second, also there is no Samuchya, so Samuchya is not there, they were doing only Karma, as in Karma Yoga they were doing. In the first Paksha, they were not doing Karma at all, because it, it is Karma Bhasa, it is not Karma at all, Natat Karma. So, Ishwara Samarpita, in the second case, Ishwara Samarpita in a karmana, which is sadhana, in the form of sadhana, they attain sattva shuddhi, that is samsiddhim there, astita means they attain samsiddhi, which is sattva shuddhi. Jnanotpatti lakshanam or, or what, it is not, not only chitta shuddhi, but it can be seen as otherwise, Jnanotpatti lakshanam va samsiddhi, that samsiddhi, which is characterized by Jnanotpatti. As in what? Jnanotpatti lakshanam asamsittim. That which is leading to it. It is leading to jnana. How? Kramena. Not that along with karma and jnana they got moksha, but that karma is leading to jnana. It is, it is going to become a platform to step over and then get jnana because chitta shuddhi is through that. So either they attained Chitta Shuddhi or they used it as a means to Chitta Shuddhi. Either they attained it through Karma or Jnanotpatti Lakshanam or Samsiddhim. So Samsiddhi is explained in two manners. One is Samsiddhi, Samsiddhi, Samsiddhi means Sattva Shuddhi as in Chitta Shuddhi or 
that which is jnanotpatti lakshana as in that mind is ready for meaning is similar that it is ready for jnana now therefore jnanotpatti lakshana va samsiddhim astitaha janakadeya iti vyakhyam this is how it has to be commented upon this is how it has to be explained and understood now so they, that is the meaning of tatpravi bhajya vijnayam it is to be known through this two divisions what two divisions same thing that he has explained dve nishte uh, pura prokta prokte further he says evam eva artham vakshati bhagwan and he says this very idea he is going to talk about where in fifth chapter where he will say sattva shuddhaye karma kurvanti sattva is antakaranam antakarana or chitta shuddhaye karma kurvanti people do karma for chitta shuddhi karma yoga karma there is karma yoga स्वकर्मणा तम अभ्यर्च सिद्धि विंदती मानव नॉट ओनली देर हि एंड्स गीता एंड अराउंड फोर्टी सिक्स श्लोक ऑफ एटीन चैप्टर टूवर्ड्स दी एंड इनफैक्ट द टीचिंग एंड सेट सिक्सटी सिक्स श्लोक इन सिक्सटी सिक्स श्लोक ऑफ दी एटीन चैप्टर द टीचिंग रियली एंड्स एंड आफ्टर दैट एंड देर इज ओनली समअप ऑफ समथिंग बट देर इज नो टीचिंग आफ्टर दैट स्वकर्मणा तम अभ्यर्च तम अभ्यर्च सिद्धि विंदती मानव दिस संसिद्धि इज कैन बी अंडरस्टूड एज दट सिद्धि विंदती मानव विंदती इज अटेन्स मानव अ पर्सन अटेन्स सिद्धि बाय वॉट स्वकर्मण थ्रू स्वकर्म थ्रू वन ओन वर्णाश्रम कर्म तम अभ्यर्च सो बाय वर्शिपिंग दि लॉर्ड दट इज कर्मयोग वॉट इज कर्मयोग थ्रू एनी प्रिस्क्राइब कर्म फॉर वर्णाश्रम दट इज स्वकर्म सो स्वकर्मण तम भगवंतम ईश्वरम अभ्यर्च अभ्यर्च इज बाय डूइंग अर्चना अर्चना इज वर्शिप ऑफ द लॉर्ड यू नीड नॉट डू अ सेपरेट वर्शिप पर्सन दैट्स वो आई सी धर्मव्याध धर्मव्याध एग्जांपल इज देयर इन महाभारत महाभारत भगवत देर मे बी मल्टीपल प्लेसेस बट हु इज धर्मव्याध धर्म ही इज ही इज अ शूद्र But a shudra can also get uh, siddhi, sam siddhi. How following one's own dharma, whatever is prescribed for the varnashrama, following that one can attain siddhi, and that siddhi can be as moksha or as as uh, chitta shuddhi, which becomes the uh, cause for nyanotpatti. Therefore, swakarmana tamabhyarcha, the worship of the Lord need not be separate. when that varnashrama karma is offered unto the lord that itself becomes archana of the lord and through that one attains siddhi iti uktva siddhim praptasya punar jnana nishtham vakshati having taught this siddhim praptasya of a person who has attained siddhi what kind of siddhi this chitta shuddhi rupa siddhi punar jnana nishtham vakshati Bhagwan teaches jnana nishtha to this person who has got chitta shuddhi now. Therefore, krama samuchya is taught. Wherever there is samuchya taught, that is krama samuchya because iti uktva. Having taught this siddhim prapta se only one who is eligible now, whether he is uh, belonging to any var he or she belonging to any varna ashrama, any varna ashrama, any gender, whatever is prescribed, if you follow that. then siddhi is guaranteed in shastra and siddhim praptasya purushasya or whoever that person is punar jnana nishtham vakshati that jnana nishtha is possible only later not before attaining uh, the siddhi chitta shuddhi rupa siddhi which is sattva shuddhim through uh, the karma swakarma then what what he is going to teach in 1850 18.50 he is going to say after 46 here he concluded that chitta shuddhi you attain through this and then as a link sheshena he is he is going to say vakshati bhagwan siddhim praptah yatha brahma so this yatha is uh, uh, prakara vachane thal thal pratya prakara yatha means what yena prakarana so bhagwan bhashyakara says here see this is 18.50 सिद्धिम प्राप्त यथा ब्रह्म तथा निबोध मे सामसेन कौंते निष्ठा ज्ञान से यापर सो इज गोइंग टू समराइज आफ्टर 50 टिल 66 ही इज गोइंग टू समराइज व्हाट एवर हैज बीन टॉट सामसेन एव ब्रीफली बिकॉज़ इन 50 टू 66 आर 17 श्लोकस इन इन फैक्ट ही इज गोइंग हियर ही इज गोइंग ही इज सेइंग दैट आई विल टीच मींस नॉट इवन 17 16 श्लोकस 
फॉलोइंग सिक्सटीन श्लोका समस कौंतेय निष्ठा ज्ञान से या ज्ञान से परा निष्ठा भवती हे कौंतेय समसेने समसेने निबोध मे यू लिसन टू दैट फ्रॉम मी एंड अंडरस्टैंड इट यू निबोध यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट फ्रॉम मी मम मे इज मे वचनात मम मम वचनात निबोध एंड वॉट इज दैट यू शुड नो सिद्धि प्राप्त वन हू सत्वशुद्धि प्राप्त सत्वशुद्धि प्राप्त वन हू हेज एटेंड चित्त शुद्धि यथा येन प्रकार ब्रह्म आपनोति प्राप्नोति तथा तथा तत्प्रकार निबोध मे वचना निबोध एंड समस निबोध सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ अ पर्सन हू हेज एटेंड दिस सिद्धि सत्वशुद्धि हाउ ही कैन एटेंड ब्रह्म ब्रह्म ये न प्रकार आपनोति सिद्धि प्राप्त तम प्रकार निबोध मे वचना निबोध दैट इज द मीनिंग देर बिकॉज हियर सिद्धि प्राप्त यथा ब्रह्म यू के नॉट मेक आउट मेक एन अन्वय एंड अंडरस्टैंड दिस देर फोर यू हैव टू नो दिस श्लोका एंड भगवान थिंग्स दैट यू नो इट इनफैक्ट ही थिंग्स दैट यू वी नो इट बाय हार्ट इत्यादि न बाय दिस सो स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम फिफ्टी एटसेट्रा he is going to sum this up and say that how a person who has got chitta shuddhi kramena uh, he can attain moksha he can attain brahma and this ends the analysis and therefore he says the final concluding statement is what tasmad gita shastre therefore in gita shastra kevala deva tattva jnanat moksha prapti hi na karma samuchita therefore with combination with karma there is jnana uh, with karma moksha is not taught and it is not possible even we have shown therefore kevala deva only through tattva jnana only through moksha is moksha prapti tattva jnana kevala deva tattva jnana bhavati na karma samuchitat na bhavati if a person is combining jnana and karma that person will not get moksha because it is not possible in the first place that what it means is that the person who is doing karma for whatever reasons he is saying that i am doing karma that person does not have jnana that's the meaning because it is like two horses running in opposite directions uh, as an example bhagwan bhashyakara gives elsewhere na karma samuchita iti nischita artha there is we do not even have this doubt nischita artha it undoubtedly it is so and he has analyzed upanishad vakyas as well as uh, Gita uh, shlokas here itself in this he has analyzed and this sums up the teaching of the entire Gita really. Yatha cha ayam artha and just as this idea that I have presented, tatha prakarana shaha vibhajya tatra tatra darshay shamaha and just as this prakarana shaha is also in keeping with the context, in keeping with each and every section, it's an avyaya prakarana shaha vibhajya having. Divided tatra tatra darshayishama. We will show this idea. He says darshayishama. We will definitely show this idea whenever the occasion arises under any shloka or wherever a purva pakshi comes in. Uh, e even if you don't uh, raise a question, we will show you. We will bring back this idea and we will refute this uh, samuchaya vada wherever the occasion arises. This is his commitment in the introduction to. Uh, the beginning of the teaching now uh, i'll just uh, mention that uh, next part how onwards what we will do is although we will do just shlokas i will try to cover the sangati bhashya which is like one or two lines uh, and sangati bhashya connects the shlokas and it shows how the next shloka connects with the earlier or the earlier section earlier shloka or the earlier section or some shloka which precedes Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, Gita. If we just see the shlokas, the ideas are not clear as to how suddenly the topic has changed. Is it really sudden? Sometimes it may seem random. Uh, Bhagwan Bhaskara will put it in perspective, and that's what makes the uh, make, brings out the idea clearly. So we'll stop here and uh, we'll continue in the next part. Huh? This concludes the 2.10, and this this tatra evam from there the. Uh, introduction to the 11 starts and we'll see only the introduction here we'll not see the bhashya this is, we, this is also bhashya but this is what is called as sangati bhashya sangati as in the bhashya 
commentary that shows the connection between shlokas. We will see that uh, unless it is huge, I uh, will try to cover that between shlokas. So, we will get some uh, prose as well along with verses. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Any questions? Yes, Anand. Um, uh, I wanted to know actually, this Agni Hotsa karma, uh, it, it's mentioned quite often. So, it is a karma for Grihasthas, is it? Yeah, yeah. And it, it's a daily karma. It is daily twice karma. Daily twice, okay. Yeah. Okay. And so, the, the example given here is that if the person loses interest in Swarga, uh, and still does this karma, uh, and as he's continuing to do this karma every day, he doesn't think of sarga as his goal, hmm. and uh, due to which uh, it then becomes karma yoga because yeah. he doesn't have that as a goal. Yeah, because there is no result. See, what is karma yoga? Karma yoga, by definition, is prescribed doing what is prescribed for a person's varanashrama without expecting results. That is the basic definition. And then uh, it is also explained as what, whatever results see, but to move towards that goal, what has one to do? Uh, there are two parts. One is that initially, whatever results, you may expect results, but don't define the result to be this way or that way. That only if, don't relate your happiness to that uh, result. So, the, it begins with Ishwara Arpana Buddhi. Ishwara Arpana Buddhi means that whatever result comes, you offer that unto the Lord. Even before that, if you cannot offer the results, at least offer the karma. So, uh, there is Ishwara Arpana Buddhi and there is Prasada Buddhi. So, it starts with Ishwara Arpana Buddhi. Ishwara Arpana Buddhi means any karma that I do, I offer to the Lord. And any karma, when I say that, in the Vedika context, it is Varanashrama. Whatever is prescribed to my varana and ashrama, whatever I should be doing. So, to be done karma, whatever is to be done, has to be done as an offering unto the Lord. Why do I do it? I do it because I, I offer it to the Lord. In fact, uh, these go together, but then uh, based on what the person's stage in karma yoga is also, based on that, either he offers the phala first and then starts offering the karma also. So, first prasada buddhi, whatever comes you take as prasada. Then, uh, once a person matures enough, he says that, I am doing it, I will offer the um, uh, karma to the Lord. So, I don't want any results, I do it because it is prescribed, that I am supposed to do and that becomes what? Uh, Svakarmana Tamabhyarcha. So, Svakarmana Tamabhyarcha is that, Agnihotra or whatever karma a person is doing, I don't want any results, then why do I do it? Is it possible to do? Yes, it is possible to do. I do it because I... I have been, bo I am born in a particular family. Why am I born there? Because I wanted that Sharira and that family. Therefore, I am born there. Now, being born in that Varanashrama Dharma, I have some duties to follow. I perform those duties and offer them unto the Lord. That itself becomes a worship. In fact, there is no separate going to the temple and doing all this is not needed in the Vaidika setup because the temple is what? Your body is the temple. That is the Atma and what that karma that a person is doing, that itself is, is the worship. And that becomes Karma Yoga. Mm -hmm. Then there is no, uh, since there is no Kartrutva Bhava, there is no Phala Bisandhi. And slowly that will bring Chitta Shuddhi. That is the main Phala. There is no other Phala. Anything Phala that comes in, that, that's a bonus. Since you don't want Phala there, there will be Phala. But you don't care for that Phala. Therefore, your main Phala is Chitta Shuddhi. Yeah, but uh, wouldn't there be an aspiration for Chitta Shuddhi with this knowledge that... Uh, or, or is that is an aspiration for Chitta Shuddhi not really a phala? No, see Chitta Shuddhi, one person wants that. That's why, see, what is your sankalpa? See, for one who is a, doing Kamya Karma, what, the, what is his sankalpa? Dhana or uh, 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 for, uh, say, uh, uh, say, whatever, uh, Roga Mukti Artham, whatever it is, a person is doing Kamya Karma. So, there Agnihotra is Sarga Praptyartham. So, Sarga Praptyartham, he is doing Agnihotra for Sarga Praptyartham. But Sankalpa is Chitta Shuddhyartham. So, you do Chitta Shuddhyartham Sankalpa. 
so that that will bring in chitta shuddhi even if one does not do sankalpa still it will give chitta shuddhi because you do not want uh, phala there is no sankalpa at all only if sankalpa is there then there will be phala right i don't want anything sankalpa is need not be only expressed in uh, through mantra even if it is not expressed my desire is a sankalpa there but if desire is not there there is no sankalpa chitta shuddhi desire may or may not be there but it will come so chitta shuddhi is the result for that person because uh, because the very idea that i am doing it as it is prescribed their kartrutva is there but kartrutva in what i am this karta not for the phala i am the karta because i am born in this particular varnashrama i am continuing in this varnashrama and i still consider myself as a karta nothing wrong there but one does not want results there therefore that person becomes a karma yogi thereby chitta shuddhi and that chitta shuddhi is the means to jnana mm -hmm. okay so so uh, so like even sangya we will say to it is so uh, yes. we, we are there also indirectly asking for chitta shuddhi right yes why indirectly directly directly yes. so see, what, what is uh, uh, see mamopata duritakshe dwara is there everywhere mamopata duritakshe dwara is durita is what that papa which is is already accumulated which is that 50% in human birth 50% punya 50% papa is there that papa let that papa not stop my sukha that is the idea there mamopata uh, mamopata duritakshe dwara through this kshaya of the durita with the durita not blocking let it go what does that mean actually uh, uh, if you do not do sandhya then dur durita will come it will continue to be there so durita that comes every day it is uh, unfolding durita for the day so prarabdha for the day or for the half a day for morning sand before morning sandhya and uh, whatever durita is you know being unfolded it has to be countered by sandhya so sandhya if it is not done then there is what is called as pratyavaya dosha pratyavaya dosha means that which will not a dosha which is not actually a positive thing but it is that which will not uh, counter it is an absence of counter to the earlier karma and therefore earlier papa karma starts giving results mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so this sandhya vandana is going to block that and thereby okay. since uh, i am doing it not only for blocking that but it is prescribed for my varana ashrama then it it will become a uh, source for chitta shuddhi mm. okay. and that is the main means of chitta shuddhi then we dilute it further saying that uh, okay whatever you do you offer to the lord that is not karma yoga as per the shastra Mm hmm. Yeah. So, it it may it it will also give see dana ityadi are they, because people who are uh, who are who are not eligible for sandhya vandana. What are they supposed to do? Dana ityadi. It is said earlier, right? Like, yajne na dana na tapasa. Yeah. So tapascharya is also their part of that. So yajne na dana na tapasa. It said here. Yeah. So sorry. Yajne dana and tapa. so yajnena dane tapasa va vishuddha satvasya so all these are there they will also lead to chitta shuddhi so yajna of course for yajna there has to be uh, this, a person has to be eligible dana there is no eligibility anybody can do dana tapa no eligibility needed of course particular tapa may have eligibility but anyone can do uh, upavasa anyone can do a particular uh, uh, denying something Mm -hmm. shastra prescribed shastra says don't do this you don't do this that's it as in uh, it is not uh, not that you should not do not a prohibited action but it says that if you want this phala then you stop doing this let's say you stop particular you go to kashi let's say kashi you go and you uh, start, stop eating some kind of a fruit that you like some kind of a vegetable you give up so that is tapas sure. so in kshetra you so everyone is eligible to do that building uh, uh, say for loka sangra you uh, earlier this you know, build uh, something for people uh, building a common well source of water mm -hmm. all these are you know uh, uh, the 
karmas which are also prescribed as in they are prescribed for chitta shuddhi or for punya also it can give punya uh, which may not be necessarily for chitta shuddhi but uh, a person who wants fame may not get chitta shuddhi he wants fame it's okay you go, go ahead and announce that i'm going to build a, a school what are you going to get you're going to get a lot of fame so that is the punya you want uh, but a person who says that okay let me build it just for the sake of it he is going to get chitta shuddhi right so yeah. that's how uh, uh, all these can become the source for chitta shuddhi so uh, when when one takes sanyasa hmm. then any karma that, that one does is is only uh, chitta shuddhi related karma uh so so the the time spent uh, is is always towards uh, because he won't be doing any yajna so it is it is he can't do yajna because he is given a pagni the sanyasa is giving a pagni what is the there there are a lot of people who talk about sanyasa they have taken sanyasa there was no agni karma at all to give up to take sanyasa sanyasa is giving up agni yeah. giving up agni is one of being up uh, giving up karma those who do not have karma they are giving up karma actually makes no sense but there are lot of sanyasis today who did not have any agni karma at all they were not eligible earlier and they have no eligibility in sanyasa let me be very mm-hmm. blunt but mm-hmm. what you are saying there are also sanyasa there are two types of sanyasas one sanyasa is vividisha sanyasa this is a broad categorization uh, and uh, it, it it fits all types of sanyasi all uh, uh, any type of sanyasi so to say as in different uh, seg, uh, divisions in sanyasa also but main division is what vividisha sanyasa and uh, vidvat sanyasa vividisha sanyasa is sananta sananta uh, dhatu is there which says that uh, veditum ichha desire to know see right now today you know this with this google devata you everyone knows tattvamasi and aham brahmasmi no as in they know the words yeah do people really understand is of questionable new vedantins questionable others also uh, questionable but earlier this knowledge mahavakya or otherwise was not taught to anyone any every tom dick and harry right so mm. it was preserved in the tradition it was taught to the eligible person not only who has adhikara in vedas but who is an adhikari of jnana at a certain stage after that maturity and after actually it is it was taught only to a sanyasi and that to to a krutopasti krutopasti means one who has got the upasana phala today there are people who don't know what upasana is are there many of us do not know what upasana is let alone being krutopasti so there has to be a siddhi of upasana for a person to be taught who is an uttama adhikari then gauna adhikari is one who does not has not done upasana thereby uh, some level of chitta shuddhi is there but he says that i cannot continue this so he gives up and then he becomes a vividisha sanyasi he has no desire for this kim prajaya karishyamo uh, we saw that mantra there what should i what what am i going to do with all this prajaya ityadi there no desire for this three lokas then that person lokatraya desire is not there that person gives up then what is the karma that he has he has no karma there is no mm-hmm. karma at all but he has no if he has no jnana then shravana manana nidhyasana is the karma shravana manana sanyasi is supposed to do shravana manana nidhyasana of course there may be ashrama binding uh, especially for uh, uh, pitadish pitadishas have their binding but most of the pitadishas Uh, who are in the orthodox sampradaya pita this is they are gnanis there is absolutely no doubt which needs to be entertained there they do puja ityadi for loka sangraha and since the uh, and actually if you look at it sanyasis who are following uh, some karma which appears to be karma that is done because grahasthas and others are not following today they are not following their karma therefore sanyasi has to do it otherwise sanyasi has no need to do it anyway he does not have any need to do it. but then he, his main idea is shravana manana nidhyasana shravana and manana is complete then nidhyasana can be in the form of teaching also in fact uh, in panchadashi kara says nidhyasana one there are two ways of nidhyasana nidhyasana can be that which leads to samadhi as in 
whether sitting in a cave or in a room is ir irrelevant. Uh, but in a solitary place, the person is like uh, earlier uh, Shringeri Acharya, Chandrasekhar Bharati Mahaswami ji. He yeah. most of the times he used to be in samadhi because that's his prarabdha, sharira prarabdha. It mm -hmm. used to draw that person into. Uh, there is no person there at all actually. So it's drawn into samadhi. There is no uh, nothing that he used to associate himself with at a certain point of time. Mm -hmm. Time as in from our perspective. So he had no. So that nididhyasana is what leading to samadhi. Other types of nididhyasana is teaching. So many of these pitha dishas teach, but then people don't even know because they don't teach orthodox in orthodox sampradaya even today. They don't teach the, in masses. In fact, you won't hear them uh, even chanting the Shanti Mantra in public. I have not mm -hmm. heard. You don't hear the Shringeri Acharya chanting uh, uh, even Sahana or Purnamada in public. Mm -hmm. so they teach the eligible students, especially the immediate uh, successor. And some of the, uh, even before that, before they select the immediate successor, also there are three or four candidates. Uh, them and some others they teach. Vedanta Ityadi. Mm -hmm. So that is other way of Nididhyasana, which Panchadashi Kara, as in uh, Vidyarani Muni also talks about that kind of Nididhyasana. Today anything and everything is called as Nididhyasana, that is not Nididhyasana. But to go back to your question, Vividisha Sanyasi is one who wants to know. He does not have knowledge now, but he has Vairagya. So therefore Chitta Shuddhi is there. What is his karma? Saravana Manana Nididhyasana, all three. What about one who has, uh, uh, has Jnana? So like Yajna Valkya, he took Vidvat Sanyasa. Vidvat Sanyasa means for, because Nishta is not possible in any other ashrama. In no ashrama is Nishta possible. It is possible only in Sanyasa. Because how will a person concentrate on uh, Brahman when there are some duties to be done? Mm -hmm. So uh, unless of course he says that uh, already that uh, association is completely gone. There is no Hankara at all. But even in case of Yajnavalka, it is said he had a hankara. And for to get over that ahankara and continue as a Jivan Mukta, he took to Sanyasa. That is Vidvat Sanyasa. So what should he be doing? No Shravana and Manana is needed because he was already teaching. So he moved from the teaching Rupa Nididhyasana to he wanted to, his prarabdha was to move to uh, solitude and that kind of Nididhyasana which get, culminates in Samadhi. Not necessary, but can be there. It can be there as uh, prarabdha of the jiva. Okay. But no other karma, because there is no karma possible uh, if there is jnana. This, this is what we saw. Mm -hmm. But if you see people who are engaged in other types of karma, uh, it, I mean, either you understand them as a different kind of sannyasi or not. So that uh, is on the context. <laughs> Uh, okay. So actually, when we are studying Gita Bhasha, this that was the purview of only sannyasis. So not Gita, trying, not Gita. I mean, the Bhasha from Shankara. Uh, because not really, not really. See, see okay. Gita Bhasha can be studied by anyone and everyone. See, what happens is that uh, mantras. Mantra should not be uttered by someone who is not eligible. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Mantra should not be uttered. So people should take to translations. That is the orthodox idea that if your person still feels that he has to study mantras, mantra should not be chanted because mantras have energy and that energy, uh, unless it is chanted right, it can give papa. Mm -hmm. So person who is chanting mantras without even knowing that uh, you know, how it has to be chanted or uh, whether a person has eligibility. Basically, a person who does not have Yajna Pavita is not eligible to chant mantra. That's that's the basic rule. Today, mm -hmm. anyway, how many of uh, Brahmanas themselves have a Yajna Pavita is questionable. In fact, Pooja Swami used to joke, you know, even many of the Brahmanas, I don't know whether I have told this earlier, who have uh, Yajna Pavita, what is the use of that Yajna Pavita? Yeah, they use it to scratch their back. <laughs> No, no, no further use. There is no nitya karma at all. Of course, see Agnihotra, there are very few people who are doing Agnihotra because Agnihotra is not a single karma. Mm -hmm. Agnihotra, there are only two mantras, mind you. It mm -hmm. takes two minutes to do the Agnihotra. Two minutes. In fact, it is shorter than a 
than a Sandhya Vandana. Sandhya Vandana, the fastest Sandhya Vandana will take at least uh, 10 15 minutes. Yeah. Bare minimum you have to do. You have to spend 15 minutes at least, 10 minutes, mm. 5 minutes, nothing else. This is what not even a minute or two. One, two mantras, you just make an offering at the right time. That is the mm -hmm. constant, right time, Suryodaya and Suryastha. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, to kindle the fire, keeping the fire alive, that is the main part. So it is not mm -hmm. only that. And then there are a lot of satellite karmas which have to be done. Only Agnihotra will not do. But only Agnihotra also, there, there are people who have done it. In fact, uh, our Mathadipati, his Purvashrama brother was a, is a, I have heard he is or was, I do not know. If he is still there, he, he is an Itti Agnihotri. Okay. In fact, that Swamiji himself in uh, Purvashrama, uh, he is a Brahmachari, was a Brahmachari okay. in the Purvashrama. But he, and he was a maths PhD, by the way, just recalled. Purvashrama, he was a math, mathematics PhD. But his brother, I have heard, is a Grahastha. Uh, Purvashrama brother, I should not say brother, Purvashrama brother, who, who is an Ityag Nihotri. And it, see, when you say, uh, today's case, if you find someone who is an Agnihotri, forget Ityag Nihotri, even if an Agnihotri, then you, it's a you know surprise, because uh, in this age, a person does it. There are some rules to follow, all this uh, Shuddhi is very difficult to follow, especially in cities. Yeah. Not that it cannot be done, because I know a person who follows it in US even. <laughs> oh. So there are some people who uh, do it, uh, but then see Agnihotra done in US, US itself whether there is an eligibility for karma, all these are questionable. Yeah. Because it has to be in karma bhumi. <laughs> you yourself are in Europe. So. Yeah, yeah. Jambu <laughs> Jambu. Achha, okay. My grandmother uh, says that uh, if it's not in Jambu Dvipa, it's not worth it. <laughs> yeah. but, but then see, uh, some areas... Uh, you see, for example, um, in Kanchi Paramacharya's, uh, there is a story about him. I think I told you, I must have told you earlier that uh, uh, there are some Jews who had come in and they uh, wanted yeah, to yeah. Yeah. So, but, but you see, there. what is the conclusion? There, there are some, some Rishis from here who have gone there. Mm. So, uh, so, not that. So, it has to be, Dharma has to be interpreted in the, although it is true that uh, wherever, see what is the idea, basically what is the idea is that earlier even if uh, they had gone to these areas, whether today is Israel or elsewhere or Europe or even wherever, whichever continent, but still wherever, even in India there are some areas where today, even in India, where a person is not eligible to do karma, mm -hmm. Sandhya Vandana Ityadi. Why? Because in that area, Vaidika has, uh, the following is gone. So mm. that is the idea that wherever the Vaidika following is gone, there you do not have eligibility to do, because it is a nature area. It should, mm. you should not, uh, it is not pure enough for uh, Nitya Nemitika Karma. Mm. So then there, uh, what options are there that one has to know from one's own Sampradaya. But the fact is that, Karma Yoga, any karma can be finally converted to Karma Yoga if one wants Jnana because unless one wants Punya out of it, it has to be, if you, if you want Punya out of it, then you have to be very, very careful of how to utter a mantra, what has to be followed. Elsewhere, mm -hmm. all rules may, may not apply because you can do Antaranga Sadhana, you don't utter, the, uh, utter it loud and um, you don't expect results out of it because it is for Chitta Shuddhi. Your Sankalpa says it is for Chitta Shuddhi. There you cannot go wrong. In fact, uh, it, it will be said by uh, Bhagavan himself in the Gita. So, coming back to your thinking that Gita Shastra cannot, uh, as in Bhashya, need, cannot be studied by everyone, it is not true. Bhashya is technical, but uh, mm -hmm. it can be studied by everyone. The issue is that most of the places Bhashyakara will quote mantras. There and uh, uh, this may be another reason, I do not know uh, for a fact, but this may be another reason why Bhashyakara does not quote complete mantras. This is just a uh, possibility from my perspective, not mm -hmm. necessarily so. He does not quote the entire mantra because maybe he looked at it and thought that others may also study. So he quotes part of mantra, it does not remain a mantra complete per se. So there it is reading that, thereby maybe he thought that, I don't know. But uh, it need not be chanted. That mantra should not be chanted. In fact, uh, 
that is why translations also may lead to moksha because uh, uh, one is trying to understand the tattva. Finally, that understanding is going to give moksha. Therefore, everyone has eligibility in moksha. If one can understand it, now understanding how will it take place? It is very difficult. This tattva to understand is difficult. It may not be possible for everyone, even if a person is eligible, it may not be possible. Eligible as eligible to study. Mm -hmm. But chitta shuddhi is lacking, and for chitta shuddhi, uh, varnashrama karma is there. And varnashrama karma is getting lost. That is the problem with, uh, and not only getting lost, people who belong to that particular varnashrama also don't follow. Yeah. Definitely, uh, they don't follow as a karma yoga. Karma itself, they don't follow, let alone karma yoga. So, it's a long way from karma to uh, varnashrama karma to karma yoga to chitta shuddhi to jnana, jnana utpatti to nishtha. It's a long haul. We cannot yeah. just jump. Therefore, I would say that bhashya, Gita bhashya should be studied by everyone. Mm -hmm. Everyone. Of course, uh, with some eligibility, not that any eligibility, mm -hmm. eligibility. First, study the Gita. Then study Gita Bhashya. Then you see where you stand. Then Upanishads. In fact, Gita is many places taught after Upanishads. Because Gita is a sum up of Upanishads. It's a summary of Upanishads. Therefore, Upanishads are taught earlier. But uh, I would say Gita and then Upanishad and then Brahma Sutra would work uh, really well. So hmm. we'll see the connections. And then uh, after we finish Gita, let's see. <laughs> Yeah. The, the reason I was asking uh, was, was also because uh, just if uh, this Bhashya, when you read it, uh, you tend to think more in terms of sannyas, uh, and uh, it has this kind of tendency that so the word. In that? See, it is in fact. I mean, it is uh, wrong if a person who does not want moksha is guided into that. But if it uh, Person who wants moksha, if he thinks of sannyasa, nothing wrong in it. What is wrong in it? No, nothing wrong. But uh, I, I, I was that was uh, just my feeling. So I. Huh, but that, I that's the that's the question. Question. first of all, uh, the desire for sannyasa is not easy to come. Even if hmm. desire is there for it to fructify, there is a lot of prarabdha needed. That yeah. that is very difficult to come. In fact, a person who uh, becomes more and more eligible to sannyasa, will feel more and more obstacles. And mm -hmm. uh, it, it is difficult. I mean, uh, in time we'll see how that is so. Uh, it, uh, it's an experience of everyone. Uh, it, it's not easy. It's not uh, easy. That desire itself is not easy. And that desire to culminate into action is very di difficult. And even if one wants it to, uh, you know, wants to take to it, it it's not easy to happen. And, uh, of course, with this understanding that sannyasa is not a playground for, it is not a ground to develop vairagya. Vairagya has to be before because there are a lot of people who have taken sannyasa without vairagya. I, mean, I personally know uh, quite a good number of cases and that you need not do individuals, but we know in masses also we know there are quite a few sannyasis who are not eligible. So, without eligibility, eligibility uh, there may be a desire, there may be some, you know, uh, what Puja Swamiji used to call as uh, spiritual romanticism. There may be that, you know, uh, yeah. think of yourself as a sannyasi, a person, you know, with this havi and all, all that. So, all that does not work. Sannyasa is an attitude in the first place. Then it is, anything else can follow, that attitude has to be there first. In following it should be there. In that ashrama that you are there, while doing your karma yoga, it should be there. Then, uh, there may be a thought which can ripe into a mature thought which can ripe into an action. But uh, then again, uh, although it is a prescribed duty, uh, in my perspective, sannyasa is not a, uh, not a choice, not by choice as such. It is that point of time where there is no other choice, nothing else, as in it is a choiceless choice, it is, mm -hmm. what else will a person do? It is, it is like mrityu, you know, that's why sannyasa is, when a person does one's own shraddha, it is mrityu. And uh, mrityu you don't take by choice. That is called a suicide. But mm -hmm. mrityu which is choiceless means what the time is right for giving up the body. So that is, 
that is that samadhi, you know, giving up. Uh, that sannyasa is that uh, Bhishma waiting for the right time to go. It is that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. where you don't have a choice. So it's it's not uh, something that you pick. Although it is shown as a vidhi, and Bhashyakar, I will show that as a vidhi. And Orthodox Sampradaya will say further that there is no moksha without sannyasa. It will also say that. But uh, it has to be understood in the right uh, spirit and the right circumstances. There is a lot to it. We will okay. get there in time. Okay. Okay. So okay. Thank you. I hope your earlier question is resolved by this. Yes. Yes. Whatever you have. And I hope it has been useful as well. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think it's already <laughs> half an hour past that. Namaste. I'll see you in Namaste. the next part. Huh? We'll continue the uh, second chapter, 11 onwards. Yeah. Oh, that's all. So, see, the question of Agnihotra or any karma, is it for a woman or for mm. a man? Whatever mm. is prescribed for a grihastha, although the eligibility is for the man, it does not mm. mean not for the wife. The, okay. In fact, the wife should continue the Agnihotra in the absence of the husband. Absence okay. of the husband, in sense, if the husband is traveling, okay. not after Vaidhavyam, but okay. uh, when the husband is traveling, that time the wife has eligibility to, con it, in fact, it is her duty. And not okay. only that, even when the husband is performing the duty, you know, as in whenever a uh, uh, ahuti is performed, that time the wife touches the right hand of the yajmana, of the, of the husband. So both are, actually both are doing the ritual and even when it is seen as the husband is eligible to do it, he, how has he become a husband? You have to think in that manner, how has he become a husband? Not as being a single man, right? Husband yeah. is one who has a wife, otherwise he is not a husband at all. So the wife makes the husband eligible by her presence. That's why he is eligible in the karma. And that's why Shastras say that whatever punya or whatever accrues, punya, actually punya, accrues to the husband in any prescribed activity, 50% of that goes to the wife. By her not even actively participating. She has to, do, just during Ahuti, she has to touch his hand. She does, of course, there is a lot of things which are done by the wife herself, setting up, etc. But uh, by doing the household as a homemaker woman is trusted with bringing up the children that's a huge duty uh, man is not trusted with that activity at all man cannot carry a child in the womb so the nature prakriti has trusted the woman and when uh, uh, the husband is engaged in these uh, duties agnihotra uh, ityadi they 50 percent of the punya accrues to the wife but the papa that the husband does, that does not come to the uh, wife at all. So, 100% of that goes to the husband. Okay. So, it is... And uh, it also depends on the Varnashrama, I think. Yeah, it depends on the Varnashrama as to uh, Dvija, as in Dvijas are basically Trivarnikas, the uh, first three Varnas, who okay. are eligible for uh, Yajna Pavita, the thread. Oh, okay. And uh, among those who have a thread also, uh, in one who is married gets the second yeah. thread, the second thread is for the wife. Oh. So he, uh, the person who is married wears two threads, so he does karma of the wife also. Oh. And uh, before marriage the wife's karma was being done by her father. Oh. So that was the earlier three varnas. Now, nowadays we don't see other than Brahmanas, uh, even in Brahmanas we don't see people taking a joke with a lot of people, unfortunately. Oh. But otherwise, all three varnas uh, are supposed to have Yajna Pavita and do these varnas. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, namaste.